In this video tutorial, I will explain you how you can create hybrid example using annotation. Our POSO class will be annotated class and it will contain the required mapping information to the database. So let's create a new project, new Java project, name it as Hibernet Annotation. This is the directory to restore the project. Change the location. Click next and then finish button. Now we'll add the library files, Hibernet and MySQL connector library files. Create a new folder. Live. So this is the Hibernate 4.2.6 final and under lib you will find a directory called required which contains all the Hibernate required files. Copy and then paste here. So all the libraries added. Now we will copy the MySQL connector file. Right click on the project explorer, go to the properties and then build path and add jar files. So include all the jar files here. Okay, okay. Now we'll add the Hibernet CFG configuration file. You can download the source code from our website and extract and then use the source code as well as other files so go to the source copy this hibernate.cfc.xml file and paste here in the source directory let me explain you this uh, file hibernate connection driver is the com.mysql.jdbc.driver and database name is hibernate tutorial username root password rules root and the connection full size is 10 then we have dialect which is MySQL dialect since we are connecting it to the MySQL database we'll have to use the MySQL dialect and then this is the mapping class name our mapping class is net.rosindia.person so now we'll get the mapping class go to the source new package and then finish since we have the source code which is already downloaded, we can copy this person of Java which is our model class. So it contains the required imports from the Java X dot persistent package, column, entity, generated value, ID and the table. Let's see the database and the table. This Hibernate tutorials is our database. And it contains a table which has two fields ID and name ID is, is the primary key and it is auto generated name is of worker 50 size entity annotation then we have table annotation and the database table to be used for mapping this entity is person ID is, that is for primary key and generated value specifies that the uh, the value of the primary key will be generated by the database. Then we have column annotation which is mapping it to the ID field in the person table. Then another field which is name and uh, and the corresponding value in the, in the entity is the string name. And then the setters and getters. So our entity is ready. Now we will copy the app factory which is used to configure the Hibernate environment. We'll copy it here. So it is the. It contains a service registry, which is of static, private static, and we have a method for getting the session factory, which gets session factory, and which is of a static type. And uh, under the static block, we have this code to initialize the session factory. Now we'll run the example, copy the an example here. 
So here we are getting the session factory through, the, through this app factory dot get session method get session factory method, and here we are creating the object of uh, and and of person class, and this is the session dot save and uh, passing the person object and finally committing the transaction. So this way you can create the object. So we create the object of uh, entity set the value and then finally call the same method and by passing the person as a parameter here and finally and this is the transaction dot commit to commit the data run run as java application so this is the insert sql generated by the hibernate let's check the data so it's entered we will just see check uh, now let's see what happens so this is another value is also interested, inserted so this way you can create a simple application using hibernate annotation here we, you don't have to create the xml file for mapping information all the mapping information is uh, given in this entity class itself it makes the programming much easier you can download the source code from our website the url to download the source code is given in the video description you can read the more tutorials here rohindia.net slash hibernate so we have so many examples that you can go through